Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to another vlog. It's about 10.30 this morning. I figured I would do a little day in the life vlog. I'll probably continue this vlog on until tomorrow as well because today I'm gonna head over to St. Pete, work from a coffee shop for a little bit, and I have a plan tonight to go to Pasco Beach with my friends for like a sunset little beach picnic, which will be super fun. But I figured if I have to drive 50 minutes over there later tonight during rush hour, which it'll probably be like an hour and a half of a drive, I might as well just go spend the day over in St. Pete Beach area, chill at a coffee shop for a couple hours, get work done, and kind of just explore around the area maybe. So that's the plan for today, but I got back from the gym a little bit ago, freshened up, and now I'm gonna do my skincare. I figured I would chat with you guys through my routine this morning because this has been like my typical glowy routine for the summer and I'm so excited I've been doing this recently. And if you live in Florida, you know how humid it is or honestly anywhere, like wearing makeup in the summer breaks my skin out because I just instantly sweat it off and it's just like uncomfortable. I hate the feeling of makeup on my skin in the summer and like ugh, all that. So I discovered tinted skincare. I never even knew there was such a thing because a couple weeks ago I ran out of like my typical skincare regimen that I was doing. So I love trying new things. I'm like, let's go try to find some new products to use and incorporate within my skincare routine. So I stumbled across Typology because I was on TikTok and I just got in like a deep TikTok hole of skincare and it's actually a French skincare brand and they have very minimal ingredients in their products, which I love. And their skincare is so gentle on my skin. And I love how like lightweight their skincare is because that's what I love for the summertime. Like I don't want to feel a heavy cream or like a heavy moisturizer on my skin. So I just wash my face in the shower and then this is the moisturizer that I use. This is the most hydrating cream and it's like so nourishing on the skin I instantly became obsessed because like I said it's just like so lightweight and I feel like my skin just instantly sucks this up it's so good but I came across tinted skincare because I was on their website and saw that they had like serums that were tinted that honestly give the effect of makeup but do what skincare does like the tinted vitamin c serum probably my newest obsession y'all know i love vitamin c any product that has vitamin c in it i'm like sign me up because vitamin c is just such a great ingredient to help brighten your skin i never even knew such a thing existed and i'm like this is the coolest concept ever and like i said i just love how their products have very minimal ingredients and it's nice because it's so lightweight on the skin so it like covers and just gives my skin a very even look to the complexion but it works wonders because it is doing all the things that the ingredients in the skincare need to do, but giving like that visual effect of makeup, which is super cool. And then I just use a little bit of this concealer right under the eyes. This concealer is in the shade Fair because I like a little bit of a brighter concealer to help brighten the under eyes, but the concealer has a caffeine in it. So it really helps reduce puffiness and also cover the dark circles because if there's one thing about me, definitely have some dark circles that need lots of coverage and you'll be able to see like the difference in how bright this makes my under eyes it just like transforms the look i swear on my face because it's so radiant like i have never found a concealer that instantly brightens like this and it's so beautiful like i love it also it's really nice under the eyes because it does not crease which is hard to come by these days so i'm just gonna blend that out a little bit i also picked up this concealer in a shade that matches the skin tone it just a little bit more because i wanted to be able to cover any blemishes honestly right now i don't have any i just have like a tiny little breakout right there and i just love this concealer because it has niacinamide in it which helps strengthen the skin barrier and also it really helps even your complexion over time so i just put a little bit of that on and i I never used to cover any blemishes with concealer in general because I always found that putting makeup on like a breakout would just make it so much worse and it never helped the problem. It would just like conceal it for the time being and hide it away and then I took off my makeup and I'm like, should not have done that because now that pimple is so much worse than it used to be. But yeah, that's why I love this stuff because like I said, it conceals but also has skincare so it's going to work its magic and help any imperfections. I'm gonna add a little bit of bronzer. I love cream and liquid products for the summertime because it gives my skin like a very radiant glowy look to it. You'll notice that I rarely ever use any type of powder unless I'm like going out with my friends or something or doing like a makeup look for filming a video or whatever it may be, but I rarely ever like to use powdered products because kind of just will ball up on my skin, especially with the heat and everything. And I just love like the dewy radiant look of these products. So this is actually the Typology Lip Oil and and I love using it as a blush because it just looks so beautiful on the skin. And like I said, it gives a very nice like highlighted look to it. This is incredibly nourishing as well. So I'll just put it on the zippies and I love it. I'm gonna finish up the look by floofing up the brows a little bit and then adding my mascara. And then lastly, of course, gotta finish off with some setting spray. 
and that is the finished look. Very simple, effective, and minimal, which I'm all about. So I'll have all the products linked down below that I use, as well as my shades. Also, I have an exclusive offer for you guys. When you click the link down below and you spend $40 or more on the Typology website, you'll get a free organic orange blossom hydrolate added to your order, which is such a good product. I know you guys will love it. So many benefits, and I'm just so happy I was able to share some of my new favorite products with you guys because I'm telling y'all, tinted skincare, like, it's gonna be the new wave, and I'm so happy I stumbled across it. So definitely recommend and check out their products and everything will be links down below for you guys. Before I head out, here's a quick outfit of the day. I'm just wearing these pants from Zara. I wouldn't say they're like linen pants, but they're very lightweight pants. So very perfect for the summertime. Shoes are Princess Polly. Crop top is from Aritzia. And then this JW Pay bag, which is so cute for the summer. I love it. It's just like a canvas style of tote. And then my sunnies are from Nordstrom. I was just about to walk out the door and then the FedEx guy came up to my door because I got summer water delivered, which they sent me a package. And if you didn't know what it is, it's like rosé and wine so he needed to grab my ID but it was so funny because <laughs> He's like, wow, now I can finally put a face to the apartment number because you keep me busy, Miss Lauren. And I was like, wait, what? He's like, yeah, every time I come here, I'm always putting, oh, and then he said my apartment number. He's like, yep, every time I'm like, oh, it's Miss Lauren, it's Miss Lauren. I'm like, that is so funny. I never knew it was like the same delivery guys. So <laughs> I'm like slightly embarrassed, but it was just funny that he said something about it. But look at how cute these are. So fun. I'm really excited to try it, but I probably won't try these until we're in West Palm. I wanna do like a get ready with me in a vlog soon, where I keep you guys up to, or give you guys the update of what I'm doing for my birthday, upcoming plans and everything, because I'm so excited excited if I haven't mentioned yet before which I know I already have it's my golden birthday this year so I cannot wait my car right now is boiling hot because I parked it out here after my workout this morning since I was like I don't feel like going in the parking garage and it's just way easier to park it out front quick but I'm like how the heck do people do this with black interior like that's crazy I'm gonna figure out what podcast I want to listen to because it's gonna be a drive I've been really into the BFFs pod with I think I talked about this um in a vlog recently but with uh Dave Portnoy, Josh Richards, and Brienne Chicken Fry because they talk about like news headlines in terms of pop culture and stuff. So it's so interesting. And yesterday or last night I watched the Met Gala. So I wonder if they have anything on that. But I don't think they put out episodes today. So we won't be listening to that. Maybe I'll listen to the Giggly Squad. The Giggly Squad is always the best. I explained to my friends, I'm like, listening to the Giggly Squad is just like listening to people talk about like nothing. And I kind of love that sometimes. Like it's nice to not listen to something that's super educational or super life changing all the time. Like I just like to be entertained and you're basically just listening into Hannah and her friend's conversation, which I forgot the other girl's name. It's Hannah and somebody else. They are hilarious and I love it. Just wrapped up at the coffee shop it's a bit later i like spent pretty much all afternoon there it's now 5 p.m today it totally got away from me i feel like i blinked and the day was over but you know what that happens and i was planning on exploring a little bit more of like st Pete beach area today but little did i know this is definitely a touristy beach town like i thought there were going to be very beachy boutiques and like swimwear and beachwear and things like that but every boutique that i looked up either on google or on my maps were those classic like souvenir beach shops. So I actually went into one because I was like, oh, surf and sand, like this sounds like a cute beach boutique. You guys, I was so wrong. I like walked in there and it were all those shirts that say like, I'm with awesome or St. Pete Beach and just very, very classic tourist vibes. So that was kind of a fail on my part, but at least I went to that coffee shop because I'm telling you guys, that was the most beachy aesthetic cute coffee shop that I have ever been to. And I want to go back. I'm like, even though it was worth, or it was quite the drive, the drive alone, or that coffee shop alone was worth the drive. And I got so much done, feel productive, I edited. Also planned out some content for the remainder of the month. So getting all of that situated, it feels good because I cannot just like think about everything I need to do. I have to write it down in my planner and just get things organized in that sort of way. Oh, also I had no idea. It was like a coffee shop slash surf shop. So. I checked out like the swimsuits they had. They had super cute t-shirts, beachwear, even jewelry. I'm like, 
I wish I would have known. I would have kind of browsed around a little bit, but I was zoned in and focused. So that's what I would have been up to. Um, yeah, today was definitely a fail in terms of the thought that I was going to explore around St. Pete Beach, but it was a little different than I expected, I guess, because it, it's pretty touristy, which I'm used to that vibe. Like living in Fort Lauderdale, that was, which feels like a fever dream because that was so long ago. Well, yeah, almost two years ago now. But Fort Lauderdale was such a touristy spot. Like everywhere you went, somebody was like, majority of the people were from out of town or traveling there for a vacation, work trips, etc. So I think like as much as I love how St. Pete has cute workout spots, coffee shops, all of that, and more of like a boutique type of feel like they have so many restaurants that are very niche to St. Pete. Whereas Tampa, I feel like falls more into the category of things being like very upscale, but then you also have the traditional like Starbucks, Duncan, Buddy Brew. We have probably like six Buddy Brews within a few miles from each other. Like I feel like in Tampa, I always go to like Hyde Park or Bayshore, like my same typical spots. But I love the fact that St. Pete has the beach so close by. Like I always say that. And then I remember that I lived in Fort Lauderdale and I did not take advantage of the fact that the beach was so close by me. Like I could drive to the beach in 12 minutes tops but if there was traffic, it would be 45. Like that was the thing that held me back from going to the beach so often is that because it was Fort Lauderdale Beach, it was constantly busy. There was always something going on. So you never knew like, oh, am I gonna run into traffic or is the bridge gonna be up and I'm gonna be stuck behind the bridge for 20 minutes. Like you really had no, no forethought about that. But yeah, I definitely feel like I'm in my beach era right now. So the fact that I can't be instantly at the beach makes me kind of sad. I do love Tampa in the sense that I think I am more of that city girl vibe, so it suits me really well. Sometimes I'm like, okay, I can see myself being like a beach girl for a year, but I basically did that when I lived in Fort Lauderdale and I did not take advantage of it. So I think maybe the city girl life is just for me and love living near the city and like that's kind of just how I grew up. So I think it's, it's what I'm used to. But anywho, we're gonna pop into Home Goods. I'm like a mile away and kind of browse around then we'll freshen up, head to the beach, and enjoy sunset, which I'm excited. I just finished getting ready. Here's a little dress. It's from Lovers and Friends. It's so cute. Honestly, I've never even worn it yet. So I figured tonight would be a little perfect occasion, and then I just re-slicked my hair back. I'm actually heading out right now again to a coffee shop today because I was reminded that there was a new one that opened up downtown Tampa called the Flatbread and Butter. And I've been to their location that they have in St. Pete and they have really, really good coffee. And I loved how yesterday I felt so productive just getting out of my apartment, going and sitting down at a coffee shop and working for a couple hours. So I'm gonna do that same thing again today. I do have a few errands to run also after the coffee shop. So we'll make that happen because I was gonna head out and run errands anyways. And I'm like, let's finish up work so I don't have that like hanging over my head. And then we'll tackle the errands because I don't need to get them done today. It's one of those things where like, oh, if I'm out and about, it would be nice to get that taken care of. So that's what is on the agenda for today. And it's another gorgeous day out. It's 90 degrees. So I'm just wearing this tank top and then these little boxer shorts from Hollister actually, which is crazy. They're so comfy. I think today I discovered my new favorite coffee shop in Tampa, Little Tina. It was so good. And the aesthetic of the coffee shop is just like such a vibe. And they had this cozy little corner that I was able to sit in and get work done. It was not super busy, not crowded. And the coffee, wow. Like that was without a doubt the best cold brew I've ever had in this area. Like it was the perfect consistency, not too bitter, not too coffee or watery tasting. So, so, so good. Like I cannot even imagine their honey lavender latte. Like I was going to consider getting that, but I just love a classic cold brew. And that's always how I judge how good a coffee shop is, is based off their cold brew, which I know you should judge it off their lattes because obviously it's made with like their espresso beans and stuff, but the cold brew, so good. Definitely will be back. And it's just funny how things work out because I would not have discovered that place had flatbread and butter not been closed and that was originally where I wanted to go but for some reason they closed early today so 
it all worked out really well. But I'm gonna have a little bit of a protein bar because I'm gonna go run some errands right now. These are so good. The Misfits, but I'm gonna run to Target because I have a return to do there quickly. If you guys watched my haul on TikTok, I'm not even kidding. Target has been popping off with the clothes recently, and I got a or I got a skirt, so I'm gonna exchange it for a different size. And then I need to pick up an order at the mall. I also have an event. Oh my gosh, tomorrow's Thursday, so I have an event tomorrow. Um, and I want to find a cute dress for it, so maybe. The mall might have something. If not, no big deal. I have to already go there anyways. So I figured I'd just pop in and browse around for a little bit. And then the post office because I have a Poshmark return or Poshmark order to ship out. So that's everything that we've got to do. And then we'll head home, make some dinner. Also, I'm going to go to Publix because I need to grab dinner for tonight. <laughs> right here is the epitome of romanticizing my night for me like I just poured myself my Olipop this is my favorite flavor it's so good it's strawberry vanilla and then we've got some chips and guac if you have never tried the Siete grain free tortilla chips you need to they're incredible I tried them for the first time honestly like a couple weeks ago which I was shocked by and I bought them at Costco and you can see how ginormous this bag is but I love them so I was snacking on that while I was cooking up the taco meat which is ready to go this time around I decided to add a chopped white onion and then bell pepper because this is how my mom always cooks taco meat and it just adds like the best flavor so good I just got ready for bed. It's about 10 o'clock right now and I'm doing some last minute prep for Orange Theory tomorrow because I coach in the morning. So I always like to make sure I've got my timing all situated and everything is all programmed and ready to go. So I'm just looking over the template for the morning. Tomorrow's workout looks good. Sometimes I will take the class before I coach if there is a class before mine and tomorrow I start coaching at 8.45. So I'm possibly thinking that I'll take, I think there's a 6.15 or 6.30, but then there's like a break and then I come on at 8.45. Yeah, there's a 6.45 class. So that means, mm, I don't know. I'm like thinking about it because I love taking it before because then I know exactly how the workout should feel and it helps me coach it in a way that like I know how you should be feeling as a member, you know, but we'll see. If you guys want to see like a day in the life or I guess my morning routine as an Orange Theory coach or something, let me know because I think that would be fun to share in like a vlog. I've done a TikTok of it before, but I've never shared it in YouTube. I don't think so. Maybe I have, but yeah, we're gonna look over this, get the timing and everything all situated, and then head to bed because I'm so tired. And I'll probably get up around like 5.30 tomorrow, depending on if I take the class or not. Either way, I like to get a workout in in the morning before I coach because I feel like it just energizes me in general. So I'm gonna finish this up and wrap up the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you all so much. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in the next vlog. Bye. Mm -hmm.